What up, you two? My girl Diggity Dot finally found a home, waiting for the guy to come pick her up right now. We're just out here letting her empty her bladder and stuff. Come on. Still looking like a puppy, even though she's three years old. Told y'all I was letting her go for dirt cheap. None of y'all wanted to hit me up for her. Y'all could have got her with her UKC papers for $500. That's pet home price with paperwork. But no, nah, nobody wanted to hit me up. But this guy hit me up. He didn't want her papers, so I even went lower on the price. At this point, she just need a home. Like, because I'm not breeding her anymore, so... She never had a litter, by the way, but I did breed her a few times. She just never took. So I'm going to just find her at home, let her relax, get old while she's sleeping on somebody's couch. That's it. Come on. Come on. Good girl, mamas. <clears throat> Come on. She a little bloated. She just got done eating. I just wanted to make this quick video, not mainly for me, for my remembrance and stuff, because she's going to be going. I ain't never going to see her again. That's in, in, in my way, sense, that's a, a good thing. She's going to have a, herself a good permanent home. He is not a breeder, so that's a plus for me. He's not going to keep trying to breed her and breed her and breed her. He just want a companion. She did have a false pregnancy, as y'all can see from her nipples, they mad big, but she is not pregnant. That's just false pregnancy symptoms right there. That's a mama's, that's a picture. Yo, she still look like a puppy, even for me, so I know when he see her, he gonna be like, dang, she look like a pup. <laughs> Yeah, so we out here chilling. I'm just waiting for the guy to come get her. Of course, I'm not going to show his face or anything like that. Mamas. I hope he don't take forever. He been said he was on his way. <laughs> Diggity dot, diggity dot, diggity. Mm -hmm. Look at her, so chubby she can't even jump on the chair no more. I haven't been posting up here lately because I really haven't been having nothing to talk about. I've just been working mainly. And I bred her, but she didn't take, of course. And I bred Sugar Booger. She had another false pregnancy. Uh, so that's two breedings that just did not work out. Um, 
my girl Roxanne came back into heat. I was gonna throw her to that black stud that I had got the free coat, the free breeding from, but I ain't gonna have the time to go up there to do the breeding. Cause I want to do it face to face. And then I, I never did a uh, semen shipping before, before. So I don't wanna mess up with that shit. So on her next heat, I'ma have the opportunity to go down there and do a face-to-face uh, -face breeding. Come here, where are you going? Come. Cause I, I really wanna do a face-to-face -face breeding, do PG tests, make sure she, uh, she, her numbers is right and then do a breeding. But I still have Stardust. I do want to sell her, but if I happen to still have her when she comes into her next heat, then I'll be able to work with the the free breeding that I got. Maybe. It all depends. <clears throat> because in my eyes, she's not an exotic. So I don't want to breed just a regular pocket bull. She's not a regular pocket bull, but I don't want to breed my pocket bull to the exotic. I want to go exotic, exotic, you know. But, uh, I'm still looking to see what I can do with that guy and the stud he has. But right now, this is what I'm doing. I'm just working mainly, y'all. And if I do decide to breed Roxy, it will be going. She will be going to King, cause they're right there. You know, he's my stud. She's my my female. So. And that's going to be a beautiful breeding. I'm not just throwing them together just to be throwing them together. Just because they're both mine. But the blood is going to mesh very well. Short, stocky pocket mic slash micro bulls. I know I'm not going to go wrong with that breeding. I just wanted different blood because... Come here. Come. For some reason, she just want to leave out this part. But I wanted to go with different blood with Roxy so that when she do have puppies, I'm take I was planning on keeping mad females from the, the litter. And I was gonna run my boy King to the females that I kept. That's why I'm one of the reasons why I'm so hell bent bent on uh breeding her to a different stud so that my boy King would be able to go to her females when they ready. But I don't know I plan for it to happen that way, but you know how life is. Life be life and all here. So shit might switch up, but that's my plan in my head. That when she, uh, her next heat, I could breed her to a different stud and I'll be able to use my boy King for her females that she has. Because he does come from a merle litter, I don't want to just be throwing him to his offspring like cause I could breed him to her and then throw him to one or two of his fem his daughters but since he come from a merle litter I don't know how that shit work out like that so I don't want to take that chance so if I throw him to Roxanne right now I'm gonna have to get another stud in order to breed the females that I have from that litter because I don't want to do that Merle on Merle truck. Even though he's he's not Merle. He's a black tri. He's from that Merle litter. And I don't want to take that chance. But again, I'm just waiting for this guy to come. If I do decide to bring my girl Roxanne on this heat, I will be posting that up. If I don't post it, that means I didn't bring her. <laughs> I, don't, I didn't even announce on Instagram that, uh, come on that she's in heat. Only my YouTubers know about that right now. I don't think I am going to post about it. Only if she takes, if I do decide to breed her and she takes, then I'll post about it. But if she don't take that, if they don't watch my YouTube channel, they ain't going to never know that I bred her or that she's in heat or anything. <laughs> I feel like I should take keep that one really on the hush. <clears throat> I have more followers on Instagram than, than I do my YouTube. But and I'm gonna keep that on a hush right now. I'm not gonna post about that on Instagram at least. And 
we're going to see what it do. If I do decide to breed her again, I'm going to post about it on YouTube. But if not, y'all not going to hear nothing about it. <laughs> Alright, this guy should have been here. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And hit the bell to get notified for when I post more videos. Much love.